Cervetus Victoria Malaga. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I know I said I was going to do British beer, but I picked some of this stuff up in, where was that, Lidl's. And they've been selling this for quite a while now, and I've always walked past it and ignored it. And I thought I should really pick this up and review it because it's, it's available quite widely in, I think Aldi do it as well. But I know that uh, Lidl do it. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Morrison's do it as well. So it's quite easy to get hold of. And I thought, it's a Spanish lager. Now, Spanish lager, what's the, what's the first thing you think about when you think of Spain? And it's this fucking sun and it's hot over there. So this beer, I'm imagining, hasn't got much of a flavour. This is all about the refreshment. And I have been pleasantly surprised by the Estrella Dam. That was quite nice. I did like that. That wasn't that wasn't too bad, I have to say. And I've had it on occasion over here um, when there's been absolutely nothing else. And the ales on offer are the usual fucking John Smiths and Doombar, and that ain't happening. So yeah, I've had uh, Australia Dam, and it's it's drinkable. So I'll give that a bit of a pass. But the Australia Galicia or Galicia, as they say, uh, nah, didn't like that. Don't know what it's like over there. Not good. I see the little Welsh fella having a go about Cruz Campo, uh, the beer from, I think it's Sevilla or somewhere. Um, I was in, well, near Barcelona doing a gig last year and they had Cruz Campo, or what was the other one? It was Estrella. And I was drinking Estrella over there and it was drinkable. It weren't too bad. Cruz Campo, fucking dog shit. And he's moaning because they're brewing it over here, rightly so. My argument with that is, it's a shit beer to start off with. So fuck knows what it tastes like being brewed over here. And no, before you ask, I am not fucking reviewing it. I'm not deliberately reviewing shit beer because it sends my fucking blood pressure up and it sends me into Hitler-esque ranch, which I don't really want to do. But I've got some of this stuff and it's the Malaga from the Savesa. Is it, is it Victoria Malaga? I think that's the, uh, the brewery, and this is their flagship beer. Supposedly a Pilsner, and uh, apparently influenced by, during the founding, they were influenced by the, the German brewers of the time, who were the best. So the brewery was founded in 1928 in Malaga, actually in Malaga. Now, Malaga, everybody thinks of Malaga as an area because you fly into Malaga, that's the airport when you go to Spain, if you're going to southern Spain, not necessarily if you're going to northern Spain, obviously, but if you're going to the, um, the cheap south coast of Spain package holidays or resorts, then yeah, you normally fly into Malaga. Last time I was in Malaga was 1992 or 93. My mate had a, had a bar over there, his parents had a bar over there and it had closed. Um, I think they shut it down and they moved back to England, but they still had the lease on it. So we had free accommodation for two weeks. We went over there for two weeks. No electricity, no gas, running water, but it was cold. You can imagine what that was like. And we were sleeping on the floor of a bar. It was fucking carnage. The only, well, there was a lot of memories. I'm not going to go through some of them because it involves fights and other dodgy stuff that I'm not going to incriminate myself on. But one thing I do remember, he had these fire lighters and of course there was no electricity at night and it got dark sort of quite quickly over there when we, when we went in September and it got dark quite quickly over there and he had these fire lighters and we had, I always remember we had them in a, like a little dish, these fire lighters and we had a load of like, a, I don't know whether it was oil or paraffin or something like that, but we had them lit and it was like giving us light and a bit of bit of heat as well, because it did get quite quite chilly at night. And uh, 
yeah, we were we were playing cards. We were gambling. We were pissed. Um, we, we were we were playing cards, and we were going to go out a bit later. And um, we were we'd we'd all got ready. Um, there was uh, showers round the corner. They were cold as well, but at least we had a shower. And um, we're just about to leave, and we thought, oh, we better put out the uh, better put out the candles or the the fire lighters or whatnot. And he's got his beer, and he's just thrown it over it. Of course, it's like throwing water on the petrol. The whole lot has fucking gone up. People across the road saw it, didn't know what the fuck was happening. They didn't even know we was in there. They were going to call the fire brigade and all that. And uh, we managed to put it out. Luckily, we managed to get a wet towel, put it over it, and it was out. It was gone. And, uh, yeah, that was uh, a very, very fucking close escape. And if I had a beard, it would have gone. Trust me, because it would have been fucking burnt to a crisp. So, yeah. Uh, that's my abiding memory of Malaga. Not been back since. Um, my ex's parents moved over there, but they moved over to a place called Estepona, which is right near sort of Gibraltar, which is another story. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but yeah, needless to say, I've been to Spain quite a few times. Quite like it. Quite like the Spanish people. They're a good laugh. I worked with a fella for a long time. Um, yeah, good laugh. Still, we keep in touch with him now. He's gone back to Spain. He's actually from the north of Spain. He's from Galicia. And uh, yeah, good bloke. Dave, if you're watching, how you doing, mate? Right, this beer. Yeah, as I say, it's a, it's a Pilsner. It's supposedly based on German, or it's influenced by German beer. Don't know how good it is, but yeah, I imagine the flavour isn't much. It's all about the refreshment, which it usually is with these beers from hot countries. So I'm not expecting much. Hopefully, I'll be surprised, but I ain't banking on it. So let's get on to the next section. Right, no brew sheet on this, unfortunately, so you're just going to get the bare bones of what this is. It's 660 mil. Always be wary of beer, beer that comes in 660 mil bottles. I only had one good one, maybe two, a uh, Warsteiner and a Kornbacher. Are the only two that I've seen in 660 mil bottles that are good. Star of Praman over here, do not fucking bother. It's brewed in the UK. Uh, anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, 660 mil bottle, 4.8%. Not a lot else, to be honest. It contains water, barley, malt, rice. Yeah, again, rice and hops. Again, another alarm bell. See, when you put rice in beer, I kind of get it in Spain because malt isn't as abundant as it is over here but rice in beer it's never good never a good thing in my opinion but if you want a light beer with a light mouthfeel and you're going for refreshment then i suppose rice is what you do in them circumstances but yeah the flavor it goes out the window uh, by the way this fella on the front is this uh, logo with the fella uh, mopping his brow supposedly sweating his bollocks off He's supposed to be a German tourist, and this was done in the 1960s. So, if that was me, I'd be sat at that table saying, what did you do during the war? <laughs> anyway, moving along swiftly. Let's get this fucker open, see what's going on. There is the cap, nice colorful cap. A little bit of history for you, this brewery had to shut down during the Spanish Civil War because basically southern Spain was getting the absolute shite bombed out of it by the uh, Spanish fascists and the Legion Condor which were a unit that was sent over by Hitler to help Franco during the Spanish Civil War and uh, they were fighting the, uh, the pinko bedwetting commies. What have we got on the nose? <laughs> Ooh, it doesn't smell good. Smells macro and nasty. Let's get get the sulfur out of the way. Now they do talk about mature maturation, slow maturation protest, process protest, fucking hell, process for at least 12 days. In my opinion, that is not a fucking long maturation process. Some of the uh, German brewers um, do it for a month at least, sometimes three months with their lagers. And that's why you get a nice clean lager. This. Ooh, does not smell good. It's sulfurous with cheap grain and a touch of lime. 
or is it lemon? No, it's lemon. And cheap lemon. It smells like, you know, lemon that you dilute, Robinson's, that type of thing. Oh, this does not smell fucking good. There's the colour. Not a lot of carbonation. Head's dissipated. This is not looking good. Oh well, I would love to be proved wrong. I don't think I'm gonna, but wish me luck. Bottoms up. Reasonably full bodied. Finish is vague. Slight lemony citrus and grainy flavour on it. General synopsis from the first mouthful, not good. Actually, I'll take that back. There's no, no real nasties in this, but flavour-wise, it's just all over the place. It's got kind of a, well it is, it's a macro brewed beer, so it's probably, well, no, less a, not a, less a light, it's not macro brewed, but it tastes macro brewed. And I'm wondering whether that's because of uh, either hop oil or cheap hop extract that they've got in this. But as a Pilsner goes, there's no real hop character on that at all. It tastes like sort of a toasted grain with a slight astringency to it, like a tannin astringency. I know there's no tannins in it, well I don't think there is tannins in it, but you've got that, you've got a, a hint of that diluted lemon, sweetish lemon on there, and it ain't great. The only redeeming feature is that it's quite full bodied. I would imagine if it was really, really fucking cold, i.e. this was really cold, on a really hot day, then yeah, it wouldn't be too bad, you'd drink it. However, when I went over to uh, Barcelona last year, they had that Cruz Campo, and even really, really cold, that was shit. It was watery, thin, horrible, just nasty beer. This is a step up from that, so it's not on that level. I will say, for beer that's got rice in it, this is quite full bodied. In terms of body, it's on a par with some of the German beers I've tried. But, when it comes to flavour, again, this is my take on it. The, the flavour comes secondary. This in countries like this, like Spain, uh, Portugal as well, Italy, it's all about the refreshment because it gets hot and you're not too concerned about flavour in the hot weather. You just want refreshment. And I, I do get that. However, the Germans can do refreshment and they can do flavour. And that's why they are the masters of bottom fermented beer. There isn't anyone that can touch them in the world. And I know I keep going on about it, but I really want the fucking British to do something about that. Sam Smith's have done it, but there has to be more than one fucking brewery that can brew a decent lager. Oh, I see, uh, speaking of the little Welsh fella, I see he's got uh, a stoned crow uh, lager out on Beers of Europe. I've done it in collaboration with, was it one of the craft brewers? I can't remember who it was. I might get some of that to try it, see what it's like, because, as I say, I'm always... Uh, you know, up for trying a British lager, and if I can find a lager that's that's good, put it this way, he's a beer reviewer, he should know good lager, so if he's going to do a, a collaboration with a, a brewer, I know I would, you know, I know it's never going to happen, but if a brewer said to me, right, you're always giving it a fucking big and about brewing decent lager, come and 
brew a lager with us, I'd say, right, okay. It would probably never get done because I would be comparing it to the German stuff. And if it didn't come up to scratch, I wouldn't put my name to it. I seriously wouldn't. I, I'm that passionate about British lager, really up in its fucking game and not being, well, not selling shit to the population of this country. They deserve better, in my opinion. But I'm rambling, again, as usual. Yeah, this stuff is, it's just okay. The body on it impresses me, the flavours don't. Um, it's drinkable, ice cold, on a hot day, yeah, doable. Any other circumstances, nah, not worth it at all. Flavours are subdued and it tastes kind of cheap. I don't think it's as bad as some of the macro stuff over here, I will say that, but it's, it's not an outstanding beer. So, what is the verdict on Savissa, Savissa, Victoria, Malaga? Well, I didn't have much hope for it, to be honest, and I was proved right. It was exactly as I would have imagined it. It's all about the refreshment with Spanish beers, and rightly so as well, but if the Germans could do it, then why can't everyone else? I don't know. But um, if you're in Spain and it's on a really hot day, as I've said, ice cold this would be nice and it's quite full bodied as well that's the good points the bad points the little flavor that's in there it just tastes cheap but it's not as bad as the macro stuff we're getting over here certainly not as bad as Beck's certainly not as bad as Carlin certainly not as bad as Foster's certainly not as bad as Stella full of nasties that lot not for me this hasn't got that so it's got a couple of redeeming features, I will say that, but um, there's better out there. There really is. And even if you're in Lidl's, you know, you could get, I know that it wouldn't be everyone's sort of taste, but um, you can on occasion get the Budvar dark lager. If you can get a bottle of Budvar that hasn't been exposed to the fucking light in them fucking green bottles that they refuse to ditch and put them in brown bottles, then maybe you'd be lucky and you could ditch that and get these you could buy that instead of this but i mean it, look they live in spain and or they live in spain they are based in spain and even they know about brown bottles surely budvar tell the marketing people to fuck off um ran over yeah this i'm going to give a five out of ten i don't think it deserves any more i don't think it's a chuck well it's not a chuck down the sink job i'll probably finish that Probably won't buy it again unless by some quirk of fate I'm over in Malaga at, at any time in the near future. In fact, I'm going to Spain next year. Where am I going? Uh, is it to, oh, Tenerife, isn't it? Yeah, that, it's a family holiday. Jeez, I've never been on a family holiday since I was a kid. Because, <laughs> well, I'm not saying I didn't have a family, but yeah, I don't go on family holidays. It's not for me. It's usually fucking weekend breaks away or weekends with a missus or weeks away with a missus. I don't go on these family holidays, but yeah, it's going to be hot, and I don't like fucking hot. So if I come back and I'm burnt to a fucking crisp and I look like a lobster, you know why? Because there wasn't a pub. Well, you know the saying, what you call an Irish sunblock is a pub. So yeah, that that will be the reason I come back fucking toasted red. Anyway, I'm rambling. So this is worth five out of ten. Not worth more if you. If you like beer that really doesn't taste that much, but it's refreshing and quite full-bodied, stick it in the fridge for a long time and have some 660ml of it. It's relatively cheap. I think it's just over two quid. Get it in Lidl. I think you can get it in the supermarkets as well. They started doing it as well. So, yeah. And if you've been over to Spain, then this is probably your best bet. It's either that or San Miguel. People have said San Miguel was nice over in uh, Malaga. I remember I drank it years ago, but I haven't touched it since. I remember coming back from Spain and drinking it over here and it was brewed over here then and it tasted like a fucking bag ladies period and I haven't touched it since. No thanks, Tom Hanks. Anyway, that's enough for me, over and out. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>